Are you lost in the chaotic whirlwind of day-to-day busyness? Do you yearn for a deeper sense of meaning and purpose in your life? Welcome to Be You, Your Story, Your Purpose, the podcast dedicated to empowering women on their journey of self-discovery and finding their true purpose through their own story. I'm your host, Brenda Simmons. Welcome, my friends, to the podcast. I'm so glad to have you here with me today. I want to talk today about processing negative thoughts and emotions. And I often speak about the dangers of perpetual negativity, but I feel like I need to balance the scale a little bit because I want to be very clear. We are all going to experience negative thoughts and negative emotions. We all have difficult things that happen in our lives that are going to challenge our resilience, whether that be emotional resilience, physical, mental, spiritual, intellectual, however you want to define that challenge those challenges are going to come. It is a part of our life. However, there is a difference between experiencing negative thoughts and negative emotions and adopting negative thought patterns and negative emotional patterns. So let me explain that a little bit. Adopting a negative thought or emotional pattern is when it becomes a part of your identity, a part of your belief system regarding yourself and the world around you. However, experiencing negative emotions is just allowing those emotions and those thoughts to flow through you. You welcome them in, but you don't let them stay longer than is necessary, longer than needed. And that is a really important term because I do believe that it is absolutely necessary that we experience negative thoughts and negative emotions. And you might think that's counterintuitive, but there is a purpose to them. And I'm going to explain that today. So let's talk about what that means to experience these negative thoughts, negative emotions without having them stick. So when you have a negative thought, And all things, you know, things are going to happen to us. Things are, or we're going to have, you know, thoughts associated with them. So let's say you've lost a job or you've got an illness or somebody's unkind to you. You experience abuse or death of a loved one, misunderstandings. Those things are going to cause potentially, because we can control this, but they can potentially cause negative thoughts. So the thoughts might revolve around different variations of why did this happen to me? Why me? I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. And the list goes on and on depending on what the, what the situation is. These emotions, uh, well, that, well, these thoughts will then create emotions relative to those thoughts. So it could be just simple sadness. It could be grief. It could be shame or unworthiness. I mean, you name it, just as like we've got just as many thoughts that can, you know, a million different thoughts that we could have. There's a million different emotions that can be associated with those thoughts. <clears throat> so how do you process that? How do you let that flow through your body without letting it stick? <clears throat> this is an interesting process because you have to be really aware of it. And I'm going to explain an experience that I had doing just this this last week. But before I do, I want you to remember and imagine the Harry Potter movie. So especially the last one where you've got Dumbledore. He's got his wand. So I've got my pencil. Here's my wand. He's got his wand and he's pulling out the memories and he's putting those like he's taking them out of his brain and he's putting those memories into a a bowl, right? And so this process is kind of like that, where you are purging these thoughts out of your brain. And that's really what it is. It is a purge. You are removing it out of your brain. So this last week, I had this experience, and and it was so fascinating to me how this worked. Because let me tell you, I was feeling down in the dumps. I was really feeling like crap. And not like physically, but emotionally. And and I I could see that what was going on was I had all of these thoughts r- just swirling in my brain. And I, I can't even explain it other than to say they were there and they were moving around and some would come into the focus, kind of like your magic eight ball where you shake it. <laughs> you know, you've got things in there and you can feel it and you shake it. And then something comes forward and it becomes very visible. And you're like, oh, 
yes, that's, that is a thought, you know, that is my negative thought, you know, and those negative thoughts were things like, I'm not worthy. I will never be successful. I don't deserve success. I don't, you know, along those lines. And I can't even tell you now what they all were because I did this purge. Like it's as if they don't exist anymore. I knew, I know kind of the topic, you know, but they're, they are not there before. And so this is what I want to share with you. So because I felt that they were swirling around in my brain, I, I just decided, you know, I've got to sit down and I've just got to get it out of me, you know, and, and this happens to me often. Typically it's more like when I'm thinking of the things that I need to do, if I, if I don't get that out of my brain, then I, and I talked about this in my, my journaling podcast last week, but if I don't get them out of my brain, then I have, I really struggle with, um, keeping the order, you know, making sense of what is going on. Right. And if I, and so that's the only way that I can, I know how to explain that. So, so I've got these, these negative thoughts swirling on my, around in my brain and they are just wrecking havoc on me emotionally and mentally. And so I decided I'm going to sit down and I'm just going to purge. I'm just going to write everything down that every single thought that is swirling around in my brain. And when you do this, it's not a see how awful I am. It's not a proof of what's going on inside your brain. It is just simply a you're moving it from your brain to a piece of paper. And so as I did this, I mean, I filled up two whole pages of these negative thoughts. And it was like, sometimes I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like that's that's a really bad one. You know, no wonder why I'm feeling so horrible. And and so as I was doing this, I just, my goal was just to get it out, just to to make sure I got every single thing. And so sometimes I would pause just to make sure I was getting it and then something else would come and I'd write that down. And so once it was completely done, then I was looking at it and I went back through it and I thought, do these thoughts come from me? And... That was a really important question because as I was writing it, I felt that no, these were not my thoughts. And so I would, I want you to consider that, you know, when you've got these negative thoughts, are they coming from you or are they coming from an outside source? In this case, they were coming from an outside source. And as I did that, I, it was such a comfort to me knowing that, okay, like I'm being bombarded all around me with these negative thoughts and and they have entered into my brain. And so as I've purged them, I thought, okay, well, I need to replace them with something else. And so I took that time that same day to think of replacement thoughts. Like, and and they were, again, very much right in the moment. You know, I am worthy of whatever. I am gifted at, I can fulfill my purpose because and and I can be su- successful. And so taking those things that were inside of me and really feeling what I needed to feel and and knowing what thoughts would cause that, those were the thoughts. Those were the positive affirmations that then I then replaced it. You have to take time and take the the moment to let those words sink in, those positive words sink in. And as they do to, and I think what I really mean by letting them sink in, you have to feel the truth of them. Because I truly believe that each one of us is worthy, that each one of us has a purpose, and that each one of us is here for a reason, a specific reason. And sometimes we get derailed from that purpose. Sometimes we forget our worth. Sometimes we get so down in the dumps that we can't even see what good we are at just living and just being ourselves. And so it is so important to take that time to really feel the truth of those words. I am worthy. I am gifted at. I fulfill my purpose by. I am here for a reason. And to really know 
the truth of those things deep inside of your your heart. And then the process is simple. It's just rinse and repeat. Every time you've got that negative thought, oh, I, you know, it's it's it comes and it bounces off because you've got this ability to to push that away and to really find truth because it is never true, ever, ever true that we are unworthy, that we are unloved, that we are unsuccessful. Those are not true words for anybody. We are always worthy. Success is always possible. We are all gifted. And I believe that deep, deep, deep inside my soul. And that is one of the reasons why I am sitting here before you today and I am doing this podcast because I feel that so strongly that we are all gifted. We all have a purpose and that things happen to us for a reason and it's for our growth and so that we can actually do that purpose. Okay, here's what's super amazing. I mentioned before that I don't even remember those negative thoughts that were swirling around. I, I literally can't remember the specificity of, of any of them other than they were generally, I'm not successful, I don't have a purpose, you know, that, that I'm not worthy of those kinds of things. I do not remember them anymore. And that is such a wonderful, wonderful gift to me. Keep in mind, though, that sometimes we let those thoughts linger a little bit longer and they tend to take hold a little bit more. And so if you feel like emotionally doing that, you're you're not able to purge that from, from your heart and from your head, you can try this next idea. Because here's the thing, it doesn't take very long for those kinds of, that kind of negativity to take root into our soul and into our psyche and and it affects us emotionally. So when this happens, um, I want you to consider going backwards. So we know that thoughts create your emotions, your emotions then drive your actions and your actions give you the results. So when you're stuck in that negativity and it's affecting your emotions, start with your emotions first and then go backwards. So when this happens and you feel like you need to do some emotional work, what I want you to do, and you can do this with me now, is I want you to place your hands on your heart, like you're kind of giving your, your heart a hug. And I want you to close your eyes and I want you to take a deep breath. And as you do, I want you to think about and notice where in your body you are feeling that negative emotion. And I want you to notice also what, what is it doing to your body? Because there is a mind-body connection and our, and our emotions are going to affect us physically. They tend to latch on to particular areas of our body. And I've had emotions latch on to my arms, my shoulders, my stomach, my, my gut, my heart, my brain, all over inside of my body. I've had emotions just settle. And so at, so I want you to take that time to notice where in your body you are feeling that emotion settle and notice what it's physically doing to you. Is it making your muscles tense? Is it giving you a stomach ache or a headache? Is it slumping your shoulders because you feel that weight on your shoulders? And then I want you to ask, after you notice what it's doing, I want you to ask that emotion, what its message is for you. What does that emotion need to teach you? What does it need to share with you? Sometimes emotions just need to be heard and they just need to be, they felt. And, and when we can identify what it's trying to teach us, then it feels satisfied. So ask that emotion what its message is to you. And then this is important to ask if there's more. Because oftentimes there's a surface reason, or sorry, oftentimes there's not just a surface reason, but there is also an underlying message that needs to be shared. And you're going to keep asking, is there more? Is there more? Until that emotion says, no, that's it. Listen to that emotion. Listen to the message that it's trying to share with you. 
once it's time or once you're already all done with that, then I want you to ask it, is it time for you to leave? Can you leave now? Be you're, We're very respectful to our emotions. And so you ask, is it, are you ready to leave? And you can even ask your body, are you ready to have this emotion leave? And you will, you will understand if that emotion needs to stay a little bit longer. And this is really important because I have had times where I knew intuitively that I needed to hold on to that emotion a little bit longer because it wasn't done teaching me what I needed to learn in that moment. And so I've had to be patient and say, okay, I will, I will carry you a little bit longer. And when that happens, you can ask it, what, what can I do to help you teach me? You know, it's a very give and take with this. And, and you will be so amazed at the things that you will learn by speaking to your emotions. Once it is time to leave, you can visualize it leaving your body. You can ask it, how do you want to leave? You can ask your body, how do you want this emotion to leave? And when it's free to go and you actually release it because you are not holding on to it anymore, it is a definite releasing of this emotion you will be able to feel that emotion leave your body. Then you're going to go back and do the purging of the thoughts, right? And make sure that's all done so that the process is totally complete. And again, it's just rinse and repeat as often as as you need to do. I have found this to be so beneficial in my life to be able to allow these emotions and allow these thoughts into your mind and or into my mind and into my body because it I learn so much from it. Sometimes I need to learn compassion. Sometimes I need to understand the grief process. That was a really long process, understanding that grief process. Sometimes I need to understand what it feels like to have that emotion so that I can then help somebody else who is experiencing something similar. Sometimes I need to understand what something feels like and what the thoughts are that cause those feelings so that I can then know how to avoid them later on. There are so many lessons that we learn from experiencing negative thoughts and negative emotions. So when you feel something, don't just stuff it inside of you because you're not letting it be heard. Let that process flow through you so that you can learn from that and so that you will be able to grow from the experience. Now, here's something super amazing. When you letting letting go of these thoughts and these emotions allows you to then experience joy to the degree that you have felt the pain. And this is so amazing. And and this is something that has given me so much hope. Like in my deepest and darkest moments of despair, I have this hope that someday I will feel joy to the degree that I am feeling pain. But here's the thing. You can't get to that joy unless you go through this process of release. It just, it doesn't happen. You've got to go through this process. And I have even felt that sometimes joy isn't even the first emotion. Sometimes I'm I've, I'm so racked with anxiety and despair that the first feeling I get is just a peace and a calm. And then later on, the joy comes. So I hope this has helped you. I hope this has given you some, some tools to put in your tool belt of how to process thoughts, negative thoughts, and how to process the negative emotions. They are important. They have a role. It's kind of like, you know, when you you experience physical pain, like we don't like to experience physical, physical pain, but that pain is important because it is like, say you're, you're, you touch a, a hot stove, you know, when you feel that pain that tells you move away from that stove, avoid that worse danger. And it's the same thing, you know, as we allow ourselves to experience these negative thoughts and negative emotions, they help us then to recognize 
how to avoid bigger issues later on down the road. So I hope these tools have helped. I hope you give it a try and really feel the flow of these negative thoughts and negative emotions through your body and through your mind and that you are able to learn from them. And I wish you joy and peace and calmness as you do this. If you have enjoyed this, please share it with somebody who you think may need to know how to do these processes, who may need to understand that there is hope and there is an ability to move through these in a way that is so uplifting and so empowering. That will be, that is just the greatest compliment to me, as well as to the people that you are talking to. So I hope everybody knows, I hope you know that things will happen to you for a reason and you can process those negative thoughts and negative emotions. You can do it. You are successful. You are worthy. You are loved. Until next time, take care. Celebrate your dreams. Let them take flight. For you are a star shining bright in every step you take. Let your